Hey, what's going on? This is Nate with Tiny Hilltop. We got hit pretty hard with some snow and a lot of the things I want to get going on, I've kind of had to put on hold. Luckily, it's warmed up. Uh, today, we're in the upper 50s, low 60s, a lot of sun. So the snow is melting pretty quickly. Today, I'm right outside my house. I'm under one of my black walnuts and I'm going to build some cold frames underneath it. First thing I need to do is move a little snow. Then I'm going to let the ground dry a little and build those cold frames. I have done a lot of weird things in my life, but I think that's the first time I have shoveled earth, just to shovel it. I've created trails a few times, but I think that's my first earth shoveling. But I'm gonna let the sun kind of get at that spot for the rest of the day and get at it in the morning. It's the next morning. The spot's really cleaned out really well. It's melted, there's no snow left in this little area. So I'm gonna get the cobble on. All right, so I have the boards cut for those. I'm just gonna make some rectangles. I think I'm gonna go inside and do it. Usually for a level surface, I use my dad's deck, but it's still really covered in snow. So I think I'm just gonna take them inside and make sure they're level. I have those bottom ones done, the bottom rectangles. Now I'm just gonna build the top ones. One of the reasons I'm doing these is because a lot of things don't grow under black walnuts. So by doing these cold frames, I'm growing where there shouldn't be any walnut roots. Also, this area is, gets a lot of southern sun, so I think it's a good spot for me to extend my season both ways. Long term, I wanna have about eight to 10 of these, and my goal is to have it be sort of like my kitchen garden, my personal kitchen garden. So when I'm cooking or making smoothies, I can just walk out, have a bunch of herbs, and go through, find what I need, and cook with them. What I'm doing for the top frame, for the diagonal part, I'm basically just cutting the same parts out I did for the bottom rectangle, but I'm just taking the sideboard and just doing one and splitting it right down the middle. I have the top sections all put together. I'm gonna go through with foot sections of pine, two by two pine, and secure them to each other. Those are good to go. I need to build the top. I'm gonna to build the top out of some tough text panels or something similar. But what I'm gonna do now, before I do that, is actually fill them with some soil from the pile I have from where they dug my dad's foundation. Just to see how they sit and if I need to put a crossbar or anything before I put a top on, if I have to move them around or finagle them in any way.
Okay, so I, I mulched the area, and now I'm gonna throw together some tops out of some two by twos, and then fasten the plastic Tuftex panel to it. It's not exactly a Tuftex panel, it's a substitute, I don't know what brand it is. I'll track that down and throw it in the description. And there they are, I'm done with them. Pretty pleased with how they turned out. I put a little thing so I can open them halfway uh, to work in them. I can also open them all the way with the hinges on the back. Probably eventually gonna have to get some stronger hinges, just use some ones I'd laying around. But I'm gonna see how they hold up. If they rip out, I'll get some new ones, no big deal. Thanks for hanging out, I appreciate it. Take it easy, I'll catch you later.